So with open world games, one of the many questions we see people have is, how big will the explorable map be? Well today guys, I have the answer for you in regards to Biomutant, and we also compare it to other popular open world games. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you're new around here and want to see more Biomutant, be sure to subscribe. So Biomutant is just around the corner, it releases on May 25th, and it's been pretty hyped up. It is a game which offers many, many things from a deep character class and customization system to an incredible crafting system and so much more, which you can take into the very populated world full of secrets and side quests to do. The game for sure looks great, I don't think anyone watching this will disagree with that. But a question I myself once had and I'm seeing it every day from you guys is, how big is the Explorer map going to be within Biomutant? So after a bit of research people, I actually found many official sources stating the answer and also found a direct interview with THQ Nordic who also gave out map size details. So the map will be 8 times 8 kilometers. so basically it's 64 kilometers squared by my understanding. Which I will state is nowhere near the biggest map we have seen within open world games, but it's far from the smallest as well. But to give you guys a kind of understanding to this map size, a few maps around the same size are Red Dead Redemption 2, which comes in at a little bigger with its 75 kilometers. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is said to be 74 kilometers. Ark Survival Evolved, the center map is around 70 kilometers. Player Unknown's Battlegrounds is the same size, which we see within Biomutant at 64 kilometers. So is Planet Side 2. Far Cry 5 is slightly smaller at 60 kilometers. Watch Dogs 2 is 56 kilometers. Fallout 76 is 41 kilometers. It's also bigger than Red Dead 1's map, Skyrim's, GTA San Andreas, and even Horizon Zero Dawn. Now the thing I will state is, none of these maps felt small to me when I was playing them games. So I feel what we get with Biomutant, which I will state is still considered small when compared to other open world games, I feel with a few levels to the map in terms of being able to swim down, finding cave systems, dungeons, and also in a few instances being able to fly using hot eye balloons and a few other things, plus with how filled the world does seem to be. With the many instances of NPCs you can find and again secrets you can also find too. Side quests here, there and everywhere. I don't actually feel the size of it will be noticed that much. Even though like I said 64 kilometers squared isn't too bad, it's actually quite a decent size. And because there's actually no word on fast travel points and because there's no words on vehicles where you can move around faster, yes there's tames, but other than that I mean you're running from one side to the other. So 64 kilometers squared is plenty people. And again, like I said, when it's filled with many, many things to do, it will seem so much bigger anyway. And also to mention with the many certain areas of Biomutant which require you to level up certain aspects of your class to even explore these areas, there will be a lot to do and learn here which is great. But yeah guys, I hope this video has answered any questions you may have about the size of the map. I will link a great Reddit post which documents many open worlds and their sizes that will be linked below. But on that note guys, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Biomutant, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.